Hi everyone! Wall Street failed to retain the upward momentum that it gained at the start of the year. It is rather curious given that US macro stats have been downbeat. It was supposed to boost risk appetite and a rally in stock markets. Negative economic reports mean that the Fed could take a pause in monetary tightening. However, stocks were unable to show explosive growth. Investors have found a reason for pessimism. They are again concerned about a looming recession. However, at the end of the week, the market sentiment was mixed. If the Dow fell by more than 2%, the Nasdaq showed a similar rise. Traders digested plenty of U.S. economic data and earnings reports while recessing monetary policy prospects. The majority of Fed officials are in favor of further tightening. They believe that the regulator will have to raise the interest rate to 5% or higher in order to return inflation to 2%. This week is going to be extremely busy as many economic reports are on tap. GDP data for the fourth quarter, durable goods orders and the PCE price index. Apart from that, countries will reveal their PMI indices for January. Investors also pay great attention to the earnings season. Microsoft, Tesla and IBM are scheduled to, to publish their revenue results. Watch our video review and find out more interesting details. Leave your comments down below. Let's start. Speculators are now largely focused on fresh macro stats ahead of the Fed meeting. They are looking for signals of an impending recession. For instance, retail sales data, which showed a drastic decline, caused a sharp market reaction. It means that traders are anxious about unexpected changes in economic indicators. The main stock indices slid by nearly 1% on Thursday. Wall Street kicked off with a dramatic drop as investors got rid of risky assets due to recession fears. Fed policymakers ignored the worsening economic prospects. They remained committed to further monetary tightening. This reinforced the downward trend in stock markets. Investors are still pinning their hopes on smaller rate hikes. There are, there are lots of rumors and controversial statements. For this reason, shares of, are trading with mixed dynamic. Their Friday movements are the best example of it. Wall Street was able to bounce back amid dovish comments of some Fed officials. The Dow was up by 1%, the S&P added 1.8%, and the Nasdaq increased by 2.6%. Fed Board Governor Christopher Waller spoke in favor of a more moderate rate hike by 25 basis points at the next meeting. It means that there is a chance of a pause in tightening despite a chorus of hawkish comments last week. As soon as the economy starts cooling down, the regulator is likely to soften its rhetoric. This is the conclusion investors have recently made. Traders managed to find some positive factors as well. For example, stocks climbed last Friday amid upbeat earnings reports of tech giants and fast-growing companies. Large-cap firms including Meta, Amazon, Microsoft and Tesla shares gained approximately 1% of 5. Google stock grew by 5.3% after announcing the layoff of 12,000 workers. However, market sentiment was mainly improved thanks to Netflix. The company's shares soared by 8.5% after the streaming giant reported stronger than expected subscriber growth. Nobody anticipated such a result, thus its stock showed a meteoric rise. By the end of the fourth quarter, the number of subscribers exceeded 7 million, significantly beating forecasts. Notably, its earnings reports report was weak. The stock market went up immediately. Tech companies turned out to be the biggest gainers as expected. Analysts even recalled the term big tech rally. So demand for tech shares was rather buoyant. For this reason, Nasdaq entered positive territory at the end of the week, although it was trading with a bearish bias on Friday morning. Of the week, only the Nasdaq 100 closed higher, while the Dow and S&P snapped a two-week winning streak. 
the heavy tech index climbed by 2.9%. This is an excellent result, especially given the fact that it has been the main loser among stock indices. However, it managed to recover last week, adding more than 3%. It logged the biggest increase since 2021. A sharp rise in the Nasdaq made investors believe in a trend reversal. The week ended on a fairly optimistic note. This is why investors are betting on a market recovery and a steady rally in the coming sessions. However, one should always be on guard on, as the market sentiment may change drastically. In some cases, even the smallest change may undermine full progress. The bulls managed to protect target levels. Now investors are focusing on the 12,000 level. The index made a reversal not far from this level in December. Keep in mind that this is the most important trend line. If the bulls lose control of this level, it will be a bad sign. On the weekly chart, the pivot point is still 11,500. Long-term buyers centered the market at this level in 2018 and 20. They opened long positions on price rebounds just below this level in the period from October to December 2022. The S&P 500 index advanced slightly last week by 0.3% amid Friday's rally. Otherwise, it would have declined like the Dow Jones. At the start of the new week, futures for the S&P lost about 0.1%, remaining below their psychologically important level of 4,000. However, during the session, the dynamic changed. Optimism prevailed and the index was able to break through a key level. A breakout of 4,020 may open the way to the 4,128 level. The question is whether the price will be able to consolidate at this level. It needs strong drivers to hold firmly above this level. The earnings season also impacts market sentiment. Revenue reports are revealing what is really going on in the equity market. Analysts do not expect positive shifts. The S&P will hardly rise above 4,140. This is the most optimistic scenario. At the same time, the risk of a downward movement are higher. From current levels, it may fall by 15% or more if a recession takes place. On Thursday, GDP data for the fourth quarter will be released. The reading is projected to total 2.6% on an annual basis, sliding from 3.2% logged in the third quarter. This figure cannot be called extremely negative. Nevertheless, the latest economic reports indicate that the economy has lost momentum by the end of 2022. GDP growth may weaken in the coming quarters against the backdrop of aggressive monetary tightening by the Fed. Now it is the blackout period. Fed policymakers will not provide any remarks before the February meeting. So, investors are likely to focus solely on economic data and their intuition in coming days. The Dow Jones showed their weakest weekly performance. It sank by 2.7%. One of the reasons for such a decline could be the falling shares of Goldman Sachs. The company's fourth quarter earnings results turned out to be gloomy. The index could have ended the week without a decrease if not another bearish factor. On Friday, the situation was uh, aggravated by the news that the Fed opened an investigation against Goldman Sachs. The watchdog is probing whether Goldman Sachs had appropriate safeguards in place as the bank ramped up lending. The Dow has been trading sideways for some time near the support level of 33,200 with short-term rebounds. This week, investors should closely monitor this level. If the index consolidates there, bears will be un unable to regain control. Importantly, stocks of financial and industrial companies are included in the Dow. They have remained the driving force for the, of the index since October, especially Goldman Sachs stock. 
after a steep drop, its shares approached the support level of $340. If the situation does not change for the better, it may trigger a sharp decline in the Dow Jones as well. That is all for now. Hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with the latest market news. See you!